This should be the last pass. Fingers crossed. Got a little bit of a taper over here, about a thou and a half over five inches. So that's not too bad. I can live with that. I'm gonna do a little bit of file and paperwork and hopefully it'll be good to go. Take a measurement, she's cooled down. Well, it looks like we're still big. Probably about two thou there. This end was bigger because we had the taper. fourth out of there so I mean just do a light skim cut and uh, hopefully we'll be there let's give it a test fit what do you guys say I haven't broken that edge yet but it feels good I did paper it brought it down we're in the 632 and a half range or so uh, there you go nice Good fit. Now I just gotta do is uh, get them parted in half. Well guys, I think I had a little bit of a change of plans, I think. So got it uh, choked in a little more. I got her dialed in, if you guys can see that or not. Not sure if it's getting washed out or not. And instead of making two long bushings I think the plan is going to be we're going to make uh, four smaller ones I was trying to keep it simple but if I make two then I've got to press one on and then slide the axle uh, mounts on and then press the other one on so basically the mounts are going to be captured in between the two bushings so I didn't think about that I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and like I said make four small ones so what we'll do is move you over here is we'll make some four small ones and they'll just uh, go inside the uh, bore of the bearing so I just got my stare at number 61 this nice skinny hook scale what makes it nice so you can just reach in and read it so it's about half an inch or about 13 millimeters so we'll just make four of those Obviously, it's just they're going to slide in a nice sliding fit, so we'll have to use some retaining compound to keep them in there. So that's going to be the plan of attack now. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and drill and ream this because this needs to be half an inch to slide on the axle. Ideally, if we really wanted the bore to be concentric with the OD then we we bore it out the drill may walk a little bit in this application but if it does go off a few thou it's not gonna matter for this you know they're just wheels on a shopping cart so that's why I'm doing it this way trying to keep it simple so let me uh, get set up here and we'll go ahead and, and then drill them and ream them and then once we do that we'll just you know cut them off about half an inch
out and see how we did. Our last drill was a 3164s, and this is a 500 reamer. This is a 500 gauge pin. Ooh, <laughs> little piston fit there. So sweet, it didn't over drill, and the reamer didn't over ream. So that'll be a nice fit on the axle. Sweet. So let me break this edge, and then we'll part her off, and break that edge, part it off, and we'll make four. Move over 500 thou. That was good. Let's lock the carriage. Make sure you guys are in frame. And let's uh, part her off. The bushings are done. See how this is going to work. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, green Loctite these babies in right in there. I'll go ahead and get that going here. And we can get it drying while the Loctite is taking its bond we can go ahead and go to the next step and that's going to be drilling the holes in the end of that axle so we can slide some cotter pins in see if I can stay in frame here and looks like that one's going to need a little bit of a love tap of course let me see here. Oh, uh, got this piece of stock. <laughs> this will work. There we go. One done. Grab this other one right quick. And I'll do the other wheel off camera. Tied a little bit thick because it's like 60 degrees in the shop. That one slid in nice. All right, so there's we got the axle. So we'll get over to the mill and we'll just uh, drill a couple holes on each end, and then we'll put this baby together. Hopefully, you can see that pretty good. We are set up in the mill. Got the uh, rod being held by a couple V-blocks. All I did is I came over an inch, or what? 25 millimeters or two and a half centimeters. So I can repeat it and I can just flip it over and drill it in the same spot. And then I just use my scale to run off the edge here. Didn't bother edge finding it. Came in 150 thou, we're gonna drill a eighth inch hole. I've got a nice stiff stubby drill bit and then the washers are about uh, one is about 117 thousandths thick the other one's 104 so that'll give us plenty of room and I have about another 150 or so left before the uh, end of the hub bearing comes there so we'll be good to go let's just uh, punch a couple holes Get the rotary phase converter on, we'll get the mill on, and we'll just take it easy. And we're through. 
flip it around and I'll knock the other one out off camera. So here's a trick for you. Keep a cordless drill. It's a dedicated deburring drill. Put your countersink in there. Just let it live over there by the mill. And then anytime you got a hole, and just knock it out. Makes quick work out of it. And let's get this baby together. About got this wheel on. She's snug. Snug as a bug. Washer room, oh yeah. Hopefully we're still on frame. Get the cotter pin through. Shouldn't have grabbed the long needle nose. There we go, sweet. Let's get it on the ground and try her out. All right. Just got a little bit of a rake to her. <laughs> like the old hot riding days. Man, that's a lot smoother than this little janky wheel here. That should work out really nice, especially running over the big stuff. Oh man, that's gonna work out really good. So. Excellent upgrade. Going to be real happy with that. Well, there you go, guys. Just a quick, easy fix. Hope you enjoyed it. If you uh, stuck with me this long, hey, I appreciate it. Like I said, it's not uh, an award-winning video here. Just some basic uh, operations. We actually didn't in, end up doing any mill work. All we did is some precision holes on the mill you know it wasn't worth radius in the corners and putting chamfers on it making it look look real nice i mean it's just a basic block to hold the axle in so this should work out well and um can't wait till this summer and actually probably uh, we may have one in the spring depending on how the schedule goes with covid and everything the first swap meet so super excited to use this thing and be able to get some good uh good pickings so and like always guys, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you subscribing, hanging out with me. Um, I'm filming this before Christmas, but obviously it won't get posted till after Christmas. So I hope you guys have a good holiday.